How to use DocuSign, DocuSign tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use DocuSign, a innovative tool which allows you to sign documents digitally. Not only that, but it has multiple different use cases, including legal, which improves turnaround times, HR, procurement, and multiple other features. You also have other features included within DocuSign, such as advanced electronic signatures, e-witness, identity verification, contract lifestyle management, document generation, SMS and WhatsApp delivery, web forms, DocuSign Maestro, Navigator, as well as the DocuSign App Center. So let's get started. To get started, click on try for free on the top right to get started with DocuSign. Once you do that, you're going to enter your email address. And once you do that, you're going to agree to receive their marketing communications and then click on get started. Now, once you click on get started over here, you're going to proceed with your free 30 day trial of DocuSign. And at the end of this video, we are going to be discussing pricing on DocuSign. I'm going to be using, I think, my other email address. We're going to be using a business email for this, which is actually Sarah at Sarah at Lily Davis dot site and we're going to create our new account. So once I have clicked on get started over here, I'm just going to accept all. Oh, it's Lily Davis dot site. And then we're going to refresh this page. Sarah at Lily Davis dot site click on get started and i guess we are going to have to use a regular email for this now once we have created our account it's time to go on to our next step which is going to be to enter our phone number and our first name and last name so we're going to add that over here and once we add that we do have to verify our phone number so i'm just going to do that and then click on next. Once you click on next, uh, your trial account on DocuSign is going to be created and you get this 30 day trial of DocuSign with all of its features. So I'm just gonna wait until our account sign up has been completed. And you guys can see you do have to enter your verification code. A temporary verification code is sent to your mailbox. So I am actually going to sign into Outlook and I'm going to look at the verification code and we're just going to verify our email address. This takes less than a minute. So we're just going to have to open up our mailbox and our code is 9088861. So 908861, click on next. Once you click on next over here, you're going to verify your phone number. So we're going to enter our phone number and you have multiple different regions. So I'm just going to scroll down and then click on send code. Once I click on send code, I will have a verification code sent to my phone number. And just like that, we have now created our DocuSign account. Now, whenever you create your DocuSign account, you do have to create your digital signature that you want to use. So for our digital signature, we can see we have our simple text and digital signatures can honestly vary between, you know, your own handwritten signature, which you can actually sign and then scan and then upload. But you can go into your signatures. You can choose from some of their pre-built signatures that are available. So you can choose any one of these or you can click on draw and you can draw one like so. So whatever signature I want to draw, I can draw it like this. Now I'm using a PC. If you do this on your mobile device, you can actually draw a really nice uh, signature as well. Or the easiest way to do this is going to be to click on upload and you can just write your signature on a piece of pen and paper and then upload that onto DocuSign. 
Now, from there, you guys can see that you can get started with receiving and sending different signatures. So I have sent uh, pre-existing um, documents, and there are two types of documents, documents that require your signature and documents that are going to require signatures by other people that you have sent to them. So within any document that you create, you can create signature fields and there can be multiple signature fields. You can add people as recipients and more. And to simplify a lot of these, you can see you have pre-existing templates you can create for things that are going to be frequently used within your business and you can create a brand new template. So to prepare a template, click on prepare template and you can add the documents or relevant files. I'm just going to be discarding these changes. And we're going to click on start with creating an envelope for signatures. Now, this can be any signature document. If you don't have one, you can browse your own templates or go into all templates as well. But I'm just going to click on upload and upload a document from my desktop. And once you do that, you can add a recipient. You can add I'm the only signer and I can complete the email subject. And let's say this is a sales contract. Once I do that, I can click on sign and once I click on sign, I can proceed with the signature field. Now in DocuSign, you do have to add the signature field. So whatever signature field you want to add, you can open up the document. Let's say it's this document. And once I do that, I can choose where I want to sign. If I click on sign over here, we can click on correct to correct our document as well. But you can choose if you want initials, if you want complete signatures, if you want dates, timestamps, and more. So in this document, I can proceed with customizations. And I would add the signature field. Let's say I want to add it over here. I want an initial field. I want a stamp as well. I want the date signed. Then I can add the name, company, title. And if I want to add check boxes or text, I can also add that over here as well. And this is for actual, you know, invoices that you have. You can go into the right and you can download an invoice template. You can also explore free invoice templates or free document templates on platforms like Canva and then just uh, keep the signing field empty and then just use DocuSign to sign. Now, the best part about using DocuSign is that all of these features are at a very amazing price. So if you take a look at DocuSign's pricing, their plans start at £16 to £54. And their personal plan includes five agreements for each month, saving time with standardized reusable templates and over 900 workflows and integrations. Their standard plan is £34 a month where you can share your templates with your team. And their business pro is 54 which allows you to upload attachments, collect data, collect payments, and more. So you can really expand the realm of e-signatures. Now, this is just their basic e-signature plan. They also have real estate, web developer API, and IM. So you can choose different plans for different needs that you might have within your business. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comments. I would love to know what you guys have to say.